the Draftsman document can be looked at as an alternative or an additional feature to creating project documentation. It offers the automated placement of assembly and fabrication drawings and includes a wide range of manual drawing tools. So let's see how we can use it to create a fabrication drawing. We'll start by placing a board fabrication view which can be found from the place menu or directly from the active bar. When the view is selected, we can change its settings in the Properties panel, such as the scale, the title, and other information. Now for more specific information about the view, we can access the Properties pane of this panel. From the Layer drop-down menu, we can decide which layer we want this view to represent. The layer options here are pulled directly from the project's PCB document. In addition to the layers of this PCB, there's also an option to enable all layers. This would allow us to pull every layer from the PCB and it's a good option when using this drawing as a template. We can also change which side of the board we want to display along with the rotation to better fit our documentation needs. The drawing mode allows us to define how certain objects are rendered. If the full option is selected, these objects will be fully rendered. And if the simplified option is selected, only the contours will be displayed. And similar to how it works in the PCB document itself, we can change the viewing mode of the polygons in our design. Since we may not want every single layer displayed, we can jump to the Layers tab of this panel and enable or disable the layers of our choice, similar to the View Configuration panel. Now that we're done with the Fabrication view, we'll look at placing a Drill Drawing view, which is accessible from the Place menu or the Active bar as well. Similar to the fabrication view, we can also configure the visibility of the layer pairs from the Properties panel. More importantly, we can configure the drill symbols for this drawing as well. The symbols can be grouped by certain parameters, such as hole size, or if they're plated, and so on. If they are grouped by a parameter, the table will give you an updated view based on what you've selected. Once you're satisfied with the grouping, you can make changes to the symbol graphic size and style as you wish. Feel free to experiment with other areas of the Draftsman document to see if this is something that could benefit you and your team. For more information, check out our other related videos.